Over the years, a small, simple way the Pokemon Company has provided a little bit of extra content for the core RPG games post-launch has been through giving away Pokemon and sometimes shiny Pokemon to players months and sometimes years after the game's release. With the successful release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee for the Nintendo Switch, fans like myself has been wondering when we will start to see these style of distribution DLC events make its way over to the Let's Go games on the Nintendo Switch. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and in today's video we're going to talk about the very first shiny distribution coming to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Let's jump right into it. Now this is coming from Pokemon.com, I'm going to have a link to this news article in the description below. Funny enough is that yesterday this news got out about Pokemon Pass and this new mobile app that was going to be linked to this event and I was writing the script for this event and then Pokemon.com kind of dropped the trailer for this so I'm going to just read the article and then give you my thoughts off the head because literally this just happened. This news just dropped so let's get right into it. It says get shiny Pikachu and shiny Eevee at Target. Use the Pokemon Pass app to add one of these shiny Pokemon to your Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee game. Now again, the rumors were true, the leaks were true of these images that I'm showing right here on screen. I got posted yesterday and everybody was like, oh shit, we're getting a shiny event for the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee games, which is cool. But then on top of that, it also had a connection to a app that's unreleased that just got released today. Yes, the app Pokemon Pass is available on Google Play and I believe on iOS as well today. So you could go and download these apps if you want to participate in this event. It says Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee players can add a uniquely colored Pokemon to the game by visiting a US Target stores, which between May 11th and June 23rd. Obviously, a unique color means a shiny Pokemon. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu players can get a shiny Eevee, while those playing Let's Go Eevee can get a shiny Pikachu. Now, how cute is that? It says to receive one of these Pokemon, you would need to download the new Pokemon Pass app for selected iOS and Android devices. Pokemon Pass is available to download from the App Store and Google Play at no cost, is a free app, and you will get a bonus Detective Pikachu photo sticker when you download the app too. Now it's just a, a basically a sticker in the middle of the screen that you can drag around, that you could place while you take a picture, which is kind of pointless, but if you want to do it, you can do it. It's, 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 to me, it's pointless. This app delivers exclusive digital rewards to Pokemon Trainer Club account owners when they're at designated retail locations. If you are an account owner and enter a participating target store, Pokemon Pass will use your geolocation to automatically know notify you of nearby reward offerings. The app will then guide you through several prompts, including one to scan a QR code found in the store where you can claim your shiny Pikachu or shiny Eevee. So again, you got to download the app, you got to head over to a Target store with, within these days, within May 11th to June 23rd, use the app to scan a QR code and then you get yourself a shiny Pikachu inside of a Let's Go Eevee or a shiny Eevee inside of Let's Go Pikachu. Both come at level 10. Pikachu comes with the moves Thunderbolt, Double Kick, Double Team, and Thunder. Shiny Eevee comes with Double Edge, Iron Tail, Helping Hand, and Face A. Nothing too exclusive here. These are all moves that are learnable in the game. So we do know that this event is actually taking place other places around the world, like in Korea. I'm gonna have a link to the Cerebi page where they go over how that's going over in Korea. If you are in that area and you want to take advantage of that event, there hasn't been a EU distribution for this app or for this for this distribution, which is kind of weird. I haven't there's I've been looking around that there's no EU announcement for this app or for this giveaway, and it, it's, it's probably coming later on down the line. I doubt they will leave a whole region out for whatever reason. We usually see these events that are tied to regions retailers like Target and stuff like that do get other ways to get distributed outside of just Target later on down the line. It says additionally, if you visit Target on May 11th between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. 
at your local time zone. You'll be able to celebrate the release of Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie with a special giveaway. Fans can receive a new Psyduck promotional card for the Pokemon training card game and movie poster supplies are limited though, so you do not want to wait. Again, that is only for the May 11th date, the date that the movie comes out and that is gonna be the date that this event actually starts. But back to the shiny Eevee, shiny Pikachu, which is pretty cool. I'm going to be in New York, so I ain't going to be able to pick up this event. I do find it interesting that they are putting a app out to kind of confirm that we are one in the store <laughs> that we're going with because we all know how the events ran in the past. Basically, they will send a stack of cards to the stores and those codes will make their way online. People will be selling them. So this is a way to make sure that the person that is participating in the event is getting that reward of the Pokemon. And yeah, I know it is gonna kind of suck, especially for what we do here on this channel, where last year when the legendary event was going down, I was basically encouraging people to get a whole bunch of codes and just give them out to trainers that are in need that are, do want the codes for whatever reason, can't get out to these stores. This is kind of limiting those players. Yes, I do know there are players that, you know, are wheelchair bound or they're in states that don't have targets that will not be able to participate in this event, unfortunately. By the way this event is actually being handled with the fact that you have to download a app like Pokemon Pass and then have that app confirm your location inside of the store and then on top of that scan a QR code that is probably going to be unique to the store. I'm uncertain about that. It's going to probably be one QR code for the whole event but you would have to be in that location in order to unlock the QR code. Now, mind you, I'm pretty sure, and I'll probably do a video on it, if we do get a way, a workaround by being able to change your location or to confuse the app to make it think that you're in a location, I'll probably do a video. If someone's managing to do that, I'm not gonna scratch my head and try to do it myself, but because I am gonna be in the New York area while this event is going down, so I'm not gonna be too affected by it, but I think this is pretty cool. A cool way to get us back into the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games, even though getting a shiny in those games isn't quite as hard as a core RPG game. It is kind of cool that they are saying, hey, yo, we, we got this new way to distribute Pokemon and we're going to use this new app and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu is going to be the first Pokemon game to use the app and I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully we do see this get used with Pokemon Sword and Shield. They did mention at the last Nintendo Direct, the last Pokemon Direct anyway, that there were going to be more stuff for Pokemon branded stuff inside of 2019. Obviously with Detective Pikachu having a worldwide release and with the Japan Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution CGI movie. Pokemon Sword and Shield games. I'm pretty sure there is a lot of stuff coming out in 2019 for Pokemon, this app being one of them. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this app does find its way to integrate Pokemon from past generations into Sword and Shield somehow, or if, if this is gonna be our link to Pokemon Bank, maybe. Hopefully that, that that's the case. I, what I wanted, instead of Pokemon Pass, I wanted Pokemon Bank. I wanted Pokemon Bank on my mobile phone so I could be able to connect it to, you know, Pokemon Go or put connect it to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, this is good. This this is good news, but it's, at the same time, it's like, I always want more, as you guys know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I want a new Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer. I want information about the game so I can know that my Pokemon are going to be able to be transferable to the new games, which I think is going to be a no-brainer that they're going to do that. But I just want to know how. And I want to know if Pokemon Bank is going to be that link to that. But... As of looking now, the Pokemon Pass app, I, I downloaded it, I jumped in it, and it's kind of bare bones, it's kind of nothing. <laughs> it's like a Detective Pikachu advertisement, and that's pretty much it, <laughs> and the, the advertisement for the Shiny Pikachu, Shiny Eevee. But that's all the app has to offer for now. I'm, I'm hoping that we get more information about, you know, data miners, data mining the app, if there is a way to connect to the Nintendo Switch or something, which should be easy because, you know, Pokemon Go does it very easily by just connecting via Bluetooth. So a lot of questions that need to be answered with this. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this Pokemon Pass app and this brand new Pokemon Pikachu and Eevee shiny event with them giving away a shiny Pikachu and a shiny Eevee for free, which is pretty cool. Again, shiny Pikachu and Eevee 
is not shiny locked, so you can get them in the game. And no, this is not for the partner Pikachu, it's just for an extra Pikachu. So I'm pretty sure you could probably evolve the Pikachu that you get and the Eevee as well inside of your game. I'm just so hyped. I'm being able to get a free shiny Eevee because I got a Let's Go Pikachu physically in my Nintendo Switch right now. So this is pretty cool. And it, it, and you do need a Pokemon Training Club account. Again, it is free to make one of those. And if you're having trouble making one, just let me know in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon news update video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.